My talk at the meeting will be about how to treat patients with AML and how to use genetic knowledge to decide on how to use existing therapies, how to incorporate novel therapies, and also how to translate all of this to all of our patients. All of this new knowledge about DNA sequencing, about novel therapeutics, epigenetics. What does it mean for clinicians? What does it mean for patients? And how do we understand it all and do it in an easily understandable context? That's really, like you said, translational and sort of shovel-ready for our patients. It's really the identification of epigenetic therapies, inhibitors of mutant IDH1 or IDH2, better hypomethylating agents, bromo domain inhibitors. More and more data suggests these agents are active, they're not toxic, and the challenge is going to be how do we go from this initial excitement to actual practical use of these agents. And we'll have to review that and see how we incorporate the new drugs into a very, very strong armamentarium of established drugs. And I think that's the fundamental thing that everyone's trying to understand. And we need to continually update it and really critically appraise the literature and the practicality.